Hello everyone. Really quick um, video to show you three dolls. Three dolls. Uh, first of all the ferret dragon. And this is also an instructional video on if you have a new doll, how to pose it. They're very easy to pose and you mustn't worry about posing them because a lot of people get um, stressed or well not stressed but you know they get they get nervous about posing them so you mustn't worry make them to be durable so um, bending tails and legs there's one golden rule for posing the dolls and that is if you see something delicate like a finger or an antler do not bend it by those bend by the side of the head and on top or on the palm and where the join where the femur joins the fur bend there like so or like so. Do not push the fingers. Bad idea. Um, with the legs, they're pretty straightforward because they're pretty um, sturdy. Like so. Come down the back. Um, kind of like yoga aerobics class. Leg forward, leg down. Arm forward, wrist bent. Head left, head right. Yes. And there we go, that's him. Um, head forward, see, very easy. Head forward, top of the head, in between the antlers, and then push up. See, really easy, and they don't break. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, if you hear crackling noises, don't worry. I use hot glue to glue the feathers on, and um, each feather is made up of a a quill or a barb or something and then they have all these little tufty bits on either side. Uh, I glue them by putting a quill in the glue so that's set in really firm but these hairy bits go from blob of glue to blob of glue so when you bend it the fabric in between will stretch but the, the feathery bits won't so they'll like break off and as you can see they're very easy to break um, but that doesn't mean that all your feathers are going to fall out, they will stay in and it doesn't mean that you're not going to have any feathers if you continue to pose them because it's only going to be a little bit at the bottom that will pull out and anyway they'll stick to the blobs of glue so it'll still look fluffy so you don't need to worry about it <laughs> Next doll, uh, Zuki, who is bipedal and just to let you know, uh, he's not finished yet he ha still has some tentacles to be added which are currently curing but if you've bought a bipedal doll uh, most of my dolls as of yet have had tails and you generally use the tail to prop to stand them upright hey that's pretty cool <laughs> um, okay so that's Zuki same as usual on the forehead and underneath the chin up down same with the face left right on either side and the hands bend at the elbow and you can bend it up like that that's how I generally do it so finger on the back push down, finger underneath push up. Same with the legs. Um, okay, next doll, really exciting, the dragon. Yeah, very awesome. Um, because he's made out of vinyl and not fabric, the vinyl doesn't stretch as much as the, as the, um, the, below that, the fur, so his neck doesn't go up and down. In fact, I tell a lie, it's not because of that, it's because I glued this um, strip to his chest so his head won't go up properly. But anyway, dragon's head wouldn't go up like that, so it's in a pretty characteristic dragon slouch. Um, if you want to pose his legs, just hold them like that down. Uh, pretty bad design feature with these uh, sp spines at the front, but I was having so much fun sculpting them, I just couldn't help myself. Um, so you, they do need a bit of precision for posing. You have to put your finger in between the two top spines and then thumb on, on the palm. Wait a minute, how do I do this? Yeah, like that. And then push your finger down and your thumb forward and that will bend his foot forward. I hope that made sense. Um, and then to push them back again, put your thumb on the front of his foot, not on the fingers, on that, that bit, like there. And then put your finger on his heel there and then push your thumb forward and your finger thumb away from I'm sure you'll work it out if <laughs> you get a doll like this it's really simple just don't push any of the delicacy bits um, because they'll break off but if female bits break off they're really easy to reattach with uh, super glue 
very easy to attach. And the wings are so proud of them. <laughs> you can just pull them out, expose them like so, and you can bend the fingers forward to make it more of a clawed wing. And if you want to close them, you take that bit, uh, knock down here because you'll get noodle wing syndrome, and push it with your finger towards uh, that wire. And then um, squish to get them nice and close, and then pull down, pull up, and one folded wing. See? <laughs> push down, pull up, throw that over there. You really need to sort of handle them to get an idea of how they work. Um, I'm sure when you get your doll you'll, you'll work it out. Just remember not to be worried about breaking them because I make them to be durable, I make them to withstand being posed and while I'm making them I pose them a lot, while I'm taking photographs of them I pose them a lot. So yeah, just don't worry about it. Um, and yeah, so I think that's all I've really got to say. If you have any questions or if you want to see me uh, posing the dolls in some way or you want to see something other than techniques which I'm not currently disclosing, um, then just send me a message on somehow DeviantArt for Affinity uh, Tumblr, uh, not Facebook, YouTube, anything, <laughs> Etsy, whatever, it's great, um, any way you can get to me, um, if you have a question then just send it. And okay, I think I'm going to stop rambling now, um, Arndt Vitlucci, adieu! <laughs>